Hi, I'm Heidi Alexandra, and you're watching UQTV. Today is How To Day, and today's tip is all about do the clothes that you wear matter for your brand? Absolutely they do. If you want to influence people, whether that's one-on-one -on -one with someone that you're meeting with or a whole crowd when you're out at networking, it absolutely positively matters what you wear and how you wear it. Take for example, most politicians. Have you noticed how they wear the soft blue shirts? Why? Because soft blues are proven to build rapport and to make you appear trustworthy. Or perhaps you've noticed when you go to the bank that a lot of their uniforms are in the darker navy colors because navy has authority. Can you imagine McDonald's changing their golden arches into purple ones? When it comes to your brand and brand resonance, what you wear and how you wear it absolutely has to come into play. And one of the most important components to consider is color. Color not only affects how others view us, but it also affects the mood and how people see the brand and what it stands for. Why else would you think doctors wear white coats or police uniforms are navy? It can dramatically change the way that your target audience sees you and what your brand is all about. Fellow Aussie coach and trainer, Ben Angel, recently reminded me of how important not only color is, but the contrast between colors is. Key components of color and contrast means that you can leave the right first impression every time. One, high contrast equals high brand power. Wearing high contrast color combinations will really help you amp up your brand. It could be dark with light or bright colored clothes. For example, if you typically wear a black suit, then try teaming it with a white shirt and maybe add a red tie or some jewelry for a pop of color. Perhaps if your workplace is more casual, then you might try teaming something like a red shirt with some cream pants. The main thing to remember is high contrast, high brand power. Two, medium contrast equals approachable. If your brand needs to appear warm, caring and approachable, then medium contrast clothing is going to be the best for you. Try teaming a pale gray suit perhaps with a light blue shirt or khaki pants with a black shirt. Really light on mid or mid on dark are going to be your best color combinations. Three, low contrast color combinations. If your brand is one that needs to blend into the background, a support service perhaps like nursing, a janitor, or maybe even the parking police, then this could be the color combination for you. Dark on dark, light on light, it's sure to make your brand blend into the scenery a little more. It could also be a great option if you're having a bad hair day. Now it's your turn. Take a look at your wardrobe and see what key pieces are on or off brand for you. I invite you to share your thoughts or ask us questions below in the comments section. Did you like this video? If so, please share it with your friends and colleagues, maybe even your boss. And if you want even more resources to help you create a brand and culture that really has power, then come across to uqpower.com.au for more tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on UQTV.